2019, all residential customers will be moving to a default time of use rate structure. There are some big changes in SDG&E's peak windows for that. So they are essentially shifting their peak pricing to 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. Monday through Friday. That's when you're really gonna get hit because that's when you're coming home, plugging in your electronics, turning on your TV, turning on your microwave, getting down, playing on your PS4, whatever it is that you do that consumes energy when you get home, that's when they're gonna be hitting you with the high priced energy. Now, to prepare yourself for this, you have to make it in front of one of these two windows if you really want to be able to have solar with a value for five years, you can lock that in. If you miss these windows, pretty much every solar installation that we do after this date is going to be including energy storage. It will become a mandatory piece of the puzzle. Right now though, you have the opportunity to get in here or here, and you can do that with solar only, and that will lock in your rate structure for five years. Any questions? Of course you have questions. This is a confusing topic, I understand. FAQs, will prices go up? Yes, prices always go up. That's what's been happening for the last 30 years. Typically, it's about a six to 7% uh, annual increase in prices for energy with sdg &E. That is independent of all of these other changes, but that's what's happening. How will this affect me? Well, that depends. Who are you? If you are the typical residential sdg &E customer, you will be affected here. If you are a high consumer of more than 1200 kilowatt hours per month, you will be affected here, 2019, when they move everybody off the tiered rate structure to a time of use rate structure with a 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. on peak window. This is gonna change things for a lot of folks, especially if you have a small bill now. You know, you, you may be out of the house during the day, uh, you, you and your partner, you and your wife, you and your roommate, everybody goes to work, and when you come home in the afternoon or the evening, that's when they're gonna get you. If you are looking into solar, this is how this will affect you, right here. You need to have your system installed and activated by December 1st if you want the ability to choose between several legacy options for your rate structure. You can choose the legacy time of use option, gives you a little more bang for your buck uh, May through October, or if you get in before March 30th, you will get the opportunity to also get that tiered rate structure option. That is available through here, through here, but this TOU option ends December 1st. Then again, the next question everybody wants to ask, why is SDG&E doing this to me? Well, the answer is uh, the CPUC, the California Public Utilities Commission, basically did an analysis of demand and grid loads. And they found that uh, 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. is actually when most energy is being consumed on the grid uh, at this point in time. Solar, that we've all been installing for the last 10 or 15 years, has helped reduce the load during the 11 a.m. to 6 p.m., which for the last 30 years was a great peak period window. Now, they no longer have that demand on the grid because solar is producing so much. Solar customers are self-consuming. They're pushing the access back to the grid. And now SDG&E doesn't have the difficulty of ramping up their production in order to meet the grid demand. Well, now it's 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. And that's what they're gonna do. They're gonna charge you more, 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. Thanks, SDG&E.